Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I haven't been around for a while or I haven't done a video for a while. But I'm back now. Um, today I'm going to be making this little desk caddy. Um, as you can see it does old pens. I've made this one out of some scrap paper that I had. Um, And it's made out of using six by six papers. There's no cutting involved except for the base. And I've used a die, um, a layering die for that. Yeah, so let's get started. You're going to need... Um, oh, before I start, sorry about that. Um, I've used inked botanicals six by six designer series paper, which is available in the current catalogue. Um, I am a Stamping Up demonstrator based here in the UK. Um, you're going to need um, six of these, which is what I'm going to show you what to make. And then we're going to put them all together. Um, so I've already done four of them off camera just to save a bit of time, which is them as my four there. So what you're going to do is... You take a piece of six by six paper, you fold it corner to corner, open it up, turn it opposite corner to corner. So you end up with four triangles. You see there's four triangles there. One, two, three, four. Then what we do is we fold one section into the middle. Like that. Rotate it. Fold the other side into the middle. So you end up with that. Like that. So then we open it up, turn it, we fold the opposite sides to the middle, like that, rotate, fold the other side into the middle, so they're just slightly little gap, like that. So you end up with, that can you say, you've got basically you've got your four triangles four triangles and then you've got one two three four squares and one two three four rectangles and one big square in the middle can you see that so then what we do is we turn it over we get each corner and we fold the corners in all the four corners like so then what we do well you've got it like that you've got the four corners you fold these two in this is what's going to create that diamond shape so then turn it folded that one a bit don't just fold them up to your score line don't fold them past that score line otherwise you um you won't be able to fold it inwards like i've done so that's them then what we do is we get these these sides here and we fold them in on the cells. So you end up with that shape. Oh, let's uh, try and get it straight. I'll just uh, get my bone folder for them. And then what 
once we've got that in place, what we do is we actually slot one. So you end up with that and you fold on the back. So then you get one and you slot one. No, 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 no. Fold it in half then. Sorry, fold it in half. I'm getting ahead of myself again. Fold it in half. And that, then what you do is you slot one inside the other one and push it together and that creates your diamond, your triangle, but your diamond on the front. Like that. I'll show you again. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Like I said, I've already done four off camera just to save a bit of time. So what you do is start off with your diamond shape. Let's just pop them out there a bit. Start off with your diamond shape. Corner to corner. I mean, this has been done before. This isn't new to me, but it's not my idea. But I just thought they were so cute. So, corner to corner. So you get your four triangles. And then fold one side into the middle. Like so. Rotate. So you've got this face in you. Fold that one into the middle. Like so. Open up, rotate, fold the opposite side into the middle, rotate, fold the other side to the middle, so then you've got like I said, you've got that one, two, three, four squares. You can't really see them on camera, but they are there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four rectangles, one big square. And then obviously you've got your four triangle shapes. That is what, um, you can't really see on this paper, but yeah. So then in these four squares here, these little ones, what we're going to do is fold them in on the cells. Like so. A bit like origami, really. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Sorry about that. She's listening in my conversation again. Um, so you end up with that shape then what you do is you fold me and my folding Can't. don't go past your score line right like I've done then fold it in Rotate, fold that side in, then fold it in the middle so you've got your little triangles outside towards you, like so. Then open it back up, fold these into the middle this one into the middle 
I wouldn't use a thick paper because it's harder to fold. Um, and then we're just going to slot one inside the other and push it together, she says. Sometimes you find that one way it seems to work better than the other. So just if it's not going to go, just swap it over. And there, see that's gone together better now. So then we end up with six of these. And this is what's going to create our um, box caddy. Same box, it's a caddy. That one should be going there. You can use all the same paper, but I like the idea of um, using the DSP. Then what I've done is I've used a layering die and I've used a triangle, um, a triangle, hexagon. And I've cut one out of card and one out of grey board. Um, and I'm just going to stick that on there. But first of all, I'm just going to pop my hot glue gun on. I should have done this before I started, but luckily it's, um, it's a quick heating one, this one. to heat up what i have done as well is i have made some flowers and a bow i've used this bow punch which i think is retired now and i have used this flower punch which I know is retired um, so uh, two three four I've just got one flower that's how it comes how it punches out and then we just glue it all together so I'll just glue that one together just offset them there we are just offset it oh. Oh, there we go and then this one I am using Tombow glue which is available as well it's available in the cattle in the current catalogue um, just leave that to dry and then I'll shape it. What I'm going to do, um, and that I think is three inch from, oh, it's three and a half inch from, three and a half inch from corner to corner. So then I'll just put some glue on here. And then pop. I've done this just to give me a sturdier base. You don't have to use grey board. You can just use card on the bottom if you wish. But I just did it so I had a sturdier base. Right, I'm just waiting for my glue gun to heat up and then what we're going to do is all these are going to line up around like so. What we can do is just get a bit of your tambour glue. I'm going to stick each one together like 
oh I'm sorry if you can hear that outside there's a motorbike you're gonna glue them together each one so on I've just put my hot glue gun on for the base and then like that just pop Just let it get hold a minute so can you say that's what it's starting to take shape um. <laughs> always glue the one on the side like so oh, It looks like they're not going to fit, but they do fit. <laughs> so, yeah, that one. Uh, that one. And the last one, you just have to... You glue both sides there and there. It doesn't... Like I said, it looks like it's not going to fit, but it does. I don't think you've done it wrong. If it, You've only got a small gap. Yeah, so you just push it in like that. Oh, and then just till it grabs hold like so. just you do have a little gap in the middle they don't all fit snug um you can put a bead or um something on the top just to cover that if you wish but then what we're going to do is going to glue that onto the base like so as you can see going to glue it on the base so hopefully the glue gun is ready you're better off with if you can you can use wet glue um but i prefer to use hot glue the glue gun um you just have to give it time to dry if you use the wet glue so there we are. I'm just going around, just pinching each, just making sure that they're all glued. I'm just running my fingers up and down inside, like so, on each same. Right. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead with the glue gun. Now then, um, try and pick your flattest side for the bottom if you can and all I've done is I run a bead of glue down there down each one if I can like that and then try and line it up best you can oh. maybe I didn't I didn't I didn't put enough glue on that's what it is my glue's gone cold before I've got a chance to yeah 
try and do it a bit quicker than I did. There we go. Like I said, you can use wet glue. Just press it down a little bit. Just for it to hold. Which is... Decide what you're going to have as your front. Um, let me just shape. Oh, I can do it when I forget. I'm just shaping. Just give it a little bit of dimension. Now, I've got a bow for the front of mine. So, decide which I'm having as the front. Which I think is going to be that one. I'm going to have that as my front so I'm going to put a bow on the front of mine like I said I've used the bow punch like so and then I've got the flowers for around the outside I am just using hot glue it makes a nice little desk caddy just even if you just pop your pens and you bone folder and that in it while you're doing your projects and um, saves them rolling all over your desk at least you'll know where they are me again forever going off camera Said you can put something in the centre there if you wish. I'm just going to get some um, glossy dots and I'm just going to put some dots in the centres of my flowers. Um, I think I'll go with these ones and these match. Oh, might need a little bit bigger. Do I go with that or do I go with the yellow? Let's try yellow one. They might stand up. Oh yes, that's better. Yellow. There we go. I mean. I think it's so cute is this so cute like I said you can just use it while you're working at your desk just to pop your pen or your pokey tool there we go that's that um, I mean you can even cut a little circle um, and pop it on if you wish but yeah you can just like I said pop your porky tool in it, it does hold them there we go um, I've got markers pop them in as well um, it will hold a stamping blend pen you know if you just like using the colours that you and you can just pop them in and they're not rolling all over your desk. So there we go. I hope you like it. And if you do like it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button as it does help the channel. Um, yeah. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And bye.